Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, hey there. I'm Clayton Wachowie, and uh, I'm out here on a brisk minus 20 degree day. I'm out here looking for Smurfs. Now, you might wonder why. Well, I need to get my Smurfs fixed, and this seems to be about the only way how. I recently downloaded the Smurfs game from Capcom onto my iPod Touch. And uh, as someone who doesn't get a chance to do too much gaming these days, I really enjoyed it. Um, you may have seen or read from a previous post that uh, I had to suspect something about the game. As soon as I installed it, my battery life on the iPod kept uh, being drained. So, sadly, after I leveled up, uh, maybe one, two, three, maybe level five, I uninstalled it just as a test to see if that was the game that, uh, or the application that was killing my battery life. And it turns out that it was. Um, I had a quick talk with Krista, my wife, who also has the game. She has it on her machine still. And uh, she was wondering, well, why? What is it about the Smurfs that is eating up that battery life? And it dawned on me, like, there are some social network games where you log in, uh, you require a login. And what it does is it allows you to keep a profile that's up on the web. And when you log in, if you have a time elapsed game where you're waiting for crops or buildings to build, whatever, uh, when you log in, the server will check with your device or whatever degree they work it out. But it'll run that time simulation or how much time should have elapsed when you open it. Now the Smurfs, uh, one of the first things that I enjoyed about it is that you didn't require a login, didn't need to set up an ID. You just opened it up and played the game. Uh, it has similar functions where you're growing crops or you're doing buildings you're waiting for games to unlock and that's taking time because you don't need to log in to another source that will compute it it means that it's running that simulation uh, the full time uh, it, there's a push notification feature so that uh, you'll know when crops are up it'll the next time you uh, check your iPod or iPhone or when you hear the push notification chime that virtual environment is running 24-7 when you have the Smurfs installed. Now, it does lighten up. If you close the application, yes, time still needs to elapse, so there will be a thinner version of it running. That is the thing that I noticed that was killing my battery life. Um, I also know that if you leave the application open, I think uh, Krista the other night left it open and, and didn't have a chance to get back to it, it doesn't really go into that sleep mode, even though your iPod does, so it consumes the battery life even more. I have, a, I think, a second generation of uh, the iPod Touch that is in the traditional styling, uh, so it's not the the one based on an iPhone See with their retina display and that this is the old the old school iPod touch. I noticed that when I did uninstall it, I got probably three times the, the amount of battery life back. So if you're looking for applications to install games to have fun with, Smurfs is lots of fun, but it consumes so much battery life, I would have to say don't get it. And uh, if you still need your Smurfs fix, I know there's a movie coming out. Otherwise, well, just take a look around your yard and you may find one. Thank you very much. Have a good one.